Our next spotlight is on Sacred Heart Academy. You're gonna learn a little bit more about the Gene Frazier Leadership Institute here and what it's like to be a Frazier Fellow. Another thing that's super unique to Sacred Heart is their international baccalaureate framework for teaching and learning. But if you ask any young lady here, hands down, what is their favorite thing about Sacred Heart? They'll say it's the community. My name is Caitlin Chase, and I'm a junior here at Sacred Heart Academy. Sacred Heart is so special to me because of the sisterhood and the supporting staff we have here in our school. Our sisterhood started from the Ursuline sisters who immigrated from Germany to Louisville and created in turn one of the oldest schools we have here. In addition to that, I have met some of the most amazing friends here at Sacred Heart Academy, which have inspired me, have helped me grow, and have helped shape my identity here as a student. In addition to that, that would not have been available without the teachers in the wonderful environment we have to learn in. My name is Lainey Bear, and I'm a senior here at Sacred Heart. Through the Gene Frazier Leadership Institute, confidence in myself and my leadership capabilities has grown tremendously over the last couple years. And here at Sacred Heart, everyone is inspired to be a leader, but in their own way, which is really special. My name is Debbie Hudson, and I am the English Department Chair here at Sacred Heart Academy. Sacred Heart's commitment to the International Baccalaureum in our teaching and our curriculum and our interactions with our students really sets us apart and makes us unique from all other private schools in the city of Louisville. This is a commitment to our students learning beyond the classroom walls. We want our students to not be focused on the test at the end of the year, but we want them to be focused on the skills that they are going to need in their future. I'm Katie Livers. I'm the department chair for our social studies department. One of my favorite things about teaching at Sacred Heart is when I have a student her freshman or sophomore year, and then I get to see her again in a class her 11th or 12th grade year. I really love to see how much they've grown just in those few years, academically, socially, spiritually, but mainly in the way that they see and understand the world and where it will take them after high school. I also love that we are part of a wider campus. I think it really fosters a sense of community and leadership in our students when they get to interact with students from the model school or the preschool. It really makes our campus one of a kind. My name is Adeline G and I am a current junior. I transferred here my sophomore year. And when I toured here, I immediately knew that this was the place I wanted to be. My experience here has been super uplifting. I came to Sacred Heart specifically for a challenge because I wanted to be in an environment that would set me up for the future, as well as uplift me and support me through anything I've done. My name is Allison Conliffe and I am a junior. Each sophomore goes through this personal project. It's part of the MYP uh, Middle Years Program curriculum. So every sophomore is assigned a mentor who is a faculty member, and my mentor was especially amazing, and she helped me throughout my entire project. Each student gets to choose their own topic, so I try to combine my love of leadership, digital design, and service in creating an online resources platform for the class of 2025. This was an amazing experience, and one of the best things about the project to me is that it's more about the process than the product. It's your evidence that you complete along the way rather than your final product that helps you with your project. I'm Dr. Timothy Adams. I'm the principal at Sacred Heart Academy. What makes Sacred Heart Academy so unique is the legacy of our Ursuline sisters. They left us this beautiful 48-acre campus and our core values of service, reverence, uh, leadership, and community. And one of the things that we do here with students is make sure we explicitly model that for them. We have what we call the Valkyrie value statements for them, and um, that's that they're unconditionally loved, they're more than enough, they're a resilient and strong leader, and that they're gonna change the world. And the reason we think that's important to tell them is because as young women in the world are not receiving those messages from the media or elsewhere, and so we try to make it explicit so that they go out and they feel empowered and confident to go into the world once they leave this place. If you would like to learn more about Sacred Heart, you're invited to their open house. It's coming up November the 5th from 1 to 4 p.m. Of course, there are shadowing opportunities available year-round. For more information, just go to shslu.org. Coming up, we head to Nelson County to visit Bethlehem High School. Stay with us.